last year sometime i think 2021 towards the end of that thing you feel me and um a very interesting song came on that featured drake and drake said some shit that had me like wait what the fuck so basically on the album drake said that he was dating SZA. He dated SZA in the past, and the new girl he dealing with now, be wanting to listen to SZA, but he kind of feeling weird and shit, so that's what he said right there, and um, everybody was shocked, and it seemed like SZA react to that news being dropped, and she uh, followed Drake, but who knew what it was a real correlation? Every time that these blogs and stuff be reporting on when somebody unfollows somebody, I'd be like, is this like a direct reaction, or was they been not following them, just on some silly ass, like weird as i don't want to follow a lot of people right now type shit for me i don't never be knowing but i never get that shit like do these blogs just like have a check like daily checklist as far as like hey make sure you go through rihanna's list and make sure you see who she's following today like do they do that shit because i don't i just don't get it uh, whatever whatever but um People thought that SZA didn't like that he said that. So time has passed, and SZA has dropped the album, and it's, it's time for her to be on her little press run. And since SZA's album is finally out, we've been waiting for a long time for this, um, she finally has a chance to go ahead and address that. So here what SZA got to say. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all hear that, and I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Let's get the conversation started, man. It's your boy Stacy, and I fuck with you the reason why, because you, you fucks with me. Yeah. Beautiful performance on SNL. When you did your thing, yes, indeed. Was was it at all awkward to see the skit making fun of a situation you were a part of? <laughs> I feel like, in a strange way, I was like, did they know? <laughs> and then I was like, but they didn't ask me to be in it. And then I was like, like nobody said anything. So I was just like, <laughs> I just was backstage and I heard like Drake in 20. And then I was like, what? And then when I saw it, I was like, this is insane. But um, I don't know. I feel like Drake has a Regina George quality to him where it's just kind of like, have you or anyone you know been personally victimized? <laughs> but, <laughs> but he's a popular, he's like, he's like, he's like a cool kid, you know? Like and when you're, the popular kid in school, it's like, it, it's entertaining. It's entertaining, and but you sometimes taking losses in the midst of that entertainment and um, the honesty, and I, I respect that. But I definitely laughed real hard, and I was so confused, and I was just like, are you about to call me on stage? <laughs> but yeah, that was funny. I was, I cackled. I take, it, I take it when it happened, you didn't really feel a way about it. No, wait, what, the skit or when it, when it actually happened? When it actually happened. No, no, it wasn't a big deal because it was something that I, like, knew about already. Like, I obviously know that we talked to each other <laughs> when I was a lot younger and when he was a lot younger. And, like, right. um, and we're cool. We've always been cool. So it's never, it's never been weird. It's never, it didn't come completely out of the blue when he... Let me know. Like, I didn't know that it was um, a song with 21 or anything like that. But or anytime he's ever mentioned me, it's always been positive. He's never said anything negative about me. And I'm grateful for that. And I think highly of him. And I think it's really weird that um, as all these, like, years went past, I am an artist now. And I wasn't then. And, you know, he's he's King Drake. So, and that's very <laughs> okay, that's